Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is obviously, we're not doing my makeup, but we are doing my cousin Jade's makeup. She has got a one year old little baby and we are going to his birthday party today. So I just got her ready for that. It's going to be outdoors in South Carolina humidity for multiple hours. So we had to do something that would last in, that, in those conditions. So, if you are interested in seeing how we got this makeup look, then you're in the right place. Just keep watching. Alright, so I'm going to start off priming your eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. So, I'm only going to use like a little bit. Because if you put too much, it can look gunky. Okay, then I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Creme Brulee Single, and I'm just going to use an Anastasia brush and set it down. And I thought that that Urban Decay Born to Run palette would look really pretty on you because you've got blue eyes and those kinds of rusty colors usually look really pretty on blue eyes. So that's what I'm gonna try out. So I'm gonna take this little, have you ever used wet and wild brushes? Mm -hmm. They're like some of my <laughs> favorite favorite ones. I'm going to take Weekender, which is just that light shade. I'm going to put that like in the crease, like all super blown out because that will help you blend all of your other shades. And then I'm going to use the same brush. And I'm going to pick up Still Shot, which is a peachy color. And I'm going to put that in the crease too, but just a tiny bit lower. And I'm going to start bringing it onto your eyelid a little bit. And I'm holding the brush like super lightly <laughs> because I don't want to put, I don't want to make you look like a clown. Please don't. <laughs> okay. And then I want to use a more tight crease brush. This is one that comes in like a super cheap kit at Walmart. You know, like those ones that come out during the holiday season. Yes. Okay, so that's what this came out of. But I really like it. It's the Eye Smudge Brush. And I'm going to put that in Riff, which is the caramel color. And I'm going to put that even lower into your crease. How many times can I say crease? <laughs> okay, and I want a little bit more of still shot showing. So I'm going to blend that around everything, all the little lines you got going, or any little line. Okay, hold on, I'm going to go get my dog. Now, I'm going to take this color tattoo in Bad to the Bronze. And I'm gonna take this little Wet n Wild brush and I don't even know what brush
brush this is, honestly. I'll have to look it up and link it below. Okay, so I'm going to pop this on the part of your eyelid that there's nothing on, just the inner part. And then I'm going to use that to stick down a super shimmery shade. I'm going to take Ignite on that same brush on the opposite side and dip into that. My dog is going crazy outside. looks pretty okay now I'm gonna take good is gone that chocolatey shade and put that on the outer part And we're doing your eyes first. So any of this that I get all over the place blending, we can just wipe away. Because you're going to be looking crazy for a minute. <laughs> I'm going to wipe that brush off and I'm going to go into Breakaway is the skin tone shade and we'll dust that all along the edges to kind of blend in any lines and brighten it up and I'm going to take this way down into here take this little Luxie concealer brush and I'm gonna dip that back into Ignite. This one's pointed so I can get it exactly where I want. And I'm just gonna build that shimmer up right in the center. I think I'm going to take Punk, which is a brown, but it has a lot of red slash purple in it. And I'm going to take that like right along that crease right there. And then the bottom lashes over here. I'm gonna wash on my like clean up under there. All right, it's all cleaned up. Now, all right, so I'm gonna use this Maybelline Master Prime Blur and Smooth. And this is the stuff that I've been freaking using ever since I picked it up. I haven't put it back down. Now I'm going to use the Becca Skin Love in vanilla because you're gonna be outside a lot today and 
we're gonna see how this does on you, but on me, I didn't have to blot my skin all day. So I'm gonna brush this all in and then I'm gonna take the sponge and go over everything. And if any gets on your lips, we'll clean it off after. Okay. And I'm gonna use the L'Oreal sponge. All right, I'll just look up. This thing feels so good. Do you use a sponge ever? I do. Have you, ever used, have you ever used the beauty blender? No. I haven't either. <laughs> I wonder, I don't think it's worth the price. I like the way that sponge feels though. Mm -hmm. So that looks pretty. Got the L'Oreal Visible Lift Blur Concealer. Okay. Just gonna put it a little bit down here. Again. Just press it in. Now I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me powder and fair. And I'm just gonna dip the sponge in here and knock it off. Okay. All right, I'm gonna use this Physicians Formula Bronze Booster in medium to dark, and this is the newer Wet n Wild brushes, the powder brush. So I'm just gonna get some up on there. So, you don't normally wear makeup? No, not normally. I don't know enough about it to wear it. What's weird is like I didn't, for a long time, I didn't wear any. Like whenever I was pregnant with Hannah, my first kid, because I just wanted to focus completely on her. So I really, there were some days I'm, I probably didn't even look in the mirror. Yes. To be honest. Um, but I didn't want, I just wanted to like, her be with me. Like, nobody else. I never asked for help from anybody. I didn't want, I don't know. I just, it was all I didn't about want her. Yeah. And she was always with us. Like, my mom would, I would like, fuss at me to see her. I don't know. I hogged her. But she was super smart, too, because I taught her all the time. Like, when she was two, you could have a full-on, like, educated conversation with her. Yep. By one, she knew like all her animal sounds, she knew her ABC, she knew her colors, like even like gray and stuff like that. She knew shapes. She was pretty wild. Like one and a half, I would say. She knew all that stuff. We used to watch Sprout. All the time that TV show yeah but or channel I guess it is a channel like a station we're all 
all about some baby on the side. Oh yeah. I used to um I bought the whole box set because it was more cost efficient to do that. Like if you wanted to buy like one or two Yeah. Of the movie, you might as well buy the box set online. So we had all of them at one point. I don't know what the heck we did with them. We might still have them. I, I have no idea where they're at. Okay, now for blush, I'm going to go in with this cute little thing. It's the Too Faced Love Blush Blush, and I will always love you. It's a freaking tongue twister. Okay, so this is another Wet n Wild brush. This is the angled blush brush. And these blushes last all day. Like, they don't move. It's not one that you'll, like, put on and then look six hours later and it be gone. Like, it will still be there at, like, 10 o'clock tonight. Thank you, Lord. Gonna need it today. And I'm just like kind of stamping it and pulling it lightly. Everything lightly looks better. <laughs> that would be my biggest suggestion for anything. Do it lightly and build it up because otherwise you could just end up looking like a clown. Okay, so I'm going to take the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Blush in Flushed and this is like hella pigmented. I just want the tiniest little bit right on the apple of the cheek. Just for like, it'll just be a little poppy right there. Like you're flushed. And then a trick that I do a lot of the times is I'll take my little brush or my um, sponge here and then I'll usually just like tap over everything just to make sure everything is blended in and is like seamless. Because you want to be wearing a lot of makeup but not look like you're wearing a super lot of makeup. Now I'm going to take the Pure Sculptor Palette. It's a highlight and contour palette that we got in a BoxyCharm previously, and it smells really good. It smells like chocolate. Smells like, yes. <laughs> so this is what it looks like here. These contour shades are super, super dark. I don't use those. If anything, you could use those as like an eyeshadow. But for my skin tone, her skin tone, these are way too dark. And then I have two highlighters which are beautiful i'm going to use the luxie precision foundation brush number 660 which i always use for highlighter the one i use is like a periwinkle color but the same brush okay now this is <laughs> super pigmented so i need to see the light okay so I'm going to pop this right on the tops of your cheekbones and coming out from your eye. And then I'm just going to, once everything's off the brush, I'm just going to kind of blend over everything and pull it down and out and up. So it looks like you're just blasted. That smells so good. Oh man. I'm gonna have to buy that now. Just so I can smell it. Yep. So I am gonna go into Riff. Pretty. 
And then I'm gonna go into, I think I'm gonna do a mixture of riff and still shine. So in the middle. And then I'm gonna leave that first inner part bare for the moment. I'm gonna connect this up and out over here. And then I am going to dip into that punk shade again. And then I'm going to take the bare part of this and just dust along all the edges with nothing on the brush. And then that way it just makes it a little bit softer under there. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, and now I'm gonna go in with that highlighter because that's not bright enough. It's the highlight shade in the all done now we just have to curl your lashes and put on some mascara and lipstick and then we'll be done so everything is done now we're just gonna seal it in with the flower seal the deal long lasting setting spray matte finish she's got one that is uh, a dewy finish too I like a little bit of mist. Sorry. And then I usually fan it dry. <laughs> I need to get one of those like fan, like a, a handheld like fan. All right, you're all done. I look pretty today. Thanks to Alicia. So I enjoy doing it. Thank you. I hope you enjoy it. I learned something today. If you guys like the video, if you enjoyed watching this, subscribe if you're not already to catch all of my future videos, and we will see you in the next one. Bye.